Hello guys, in this video, I'm just going to show you how I plan out my whole week of study. So here, I have just have my reminders app on and I'm going to type in all the to-dos that I have for the next week and all the classes that I have. After that, I'm going to open my Wonderlist app which is really good because I'm sharing this with my boyfriend and everything that I typed in, whatever to-dos I have, he'll be able to see it and I'll be able to see his one as well. So we can sort of motivate each other and you can do that with your friends as well. So basically, I use the reminder app because they will always have notifications coming out telling me that I still have stuff to be completed. This is to stop me from procrastinating and to put a little pressure on myself. Now I'm using my digital planner and this is a planner that I got from an Etsy shop. I'll link it down below. This is a vertical layout which I really love because horizontal layouts just don't work for me. And I like that it has the time frame at the side so that I can block out the times. So first I go in with blocking out all the times that I have classes on that day. There are many ways for you to block your time. I just find it the easiest way and the most convenient to just highlight it all around so that it looks colorful at the same time and I don't have to be neat about it. So what I do is firstly to block out the classes, secondly look through all the materials that I have, everything that I have to prepare for that particular class. If there's a lot to prepare, then I will schedule more time to finish that seminar or that class. So after that, I'm going to go back to the dates where I'm free or the time when I'm free and trying to try to squeeze in everything that I can complete so that I don't do my stuff last minute. The other thing I do is at the very bottom of that particular day, there will be a space for me to fill in the things that I must complete. So for example, today I must complete the advocacy hand in and that is my deadline. So I'll make sure to fill that out and color it in red so that I don't forget it. So after filling up all the must do's on that day, I will go through the schedule of that day itself and try to plan my timetable to try to finish all the tasks that I have to do on that day. And in doing so, I'll be adding my rest time, lunch time, and shower time. This is to ensure that you have a more realistic plan. One thing you can do is to have a color code. So each subject will have different color and your lunch time, your rest time, will all have a different color because it's not work related. But I didn't do that here because I want to keep it colorful and just fun so that when I'm filling it up, I'll just choose whichever color I feel like and whichever color that suits my team on that particular day. So previously, I was using bullet journals and paper planners like notebooks, but I'm just trying to plan digitally for the time being and see whichever I like the most. So far, I'm liking the digital planners because it is versatile, like I have lots of colors. I don't have to go out and spend money buying different colored pens and you don't have to have actual stickers to decorate your notebooks because like now you can see I'm searching on Google. So I'll just search whichever image I like. Usually I go with um, the team that I want for example I'm happy then I'll choose happy cartoons sad cartoons studying cartoons so that I like cartoons more because it seems like it's cuter but uh, in the following week I'll be trying out anime so I'll be looking at um, happy anime sad anime stuff like this and all you have to do is to drag and drop the image onto your planner and click 
crop and use the freehand style. You don't have to be exact, you don't have to trace exactly because when you're cropping it, the image is already magnified. So even if you have some white lines on the outside, you won't be able to see it after you reduce it to the, the sticker size to fit into your planner. In the meantime, I'm trying to explore more about digital planner. So after a month or so, I've been using it for, I would say, three months, uh, I mean three weeks now. So after that, I'll be able to give a thorough review. I'll be reviewing this particular planner that I'm using from an Etsy shop, which I'll have it linked down below. Thank you for watching my video and here's a coupon code for you from my shop and the link is in the description down below.